Now to the GMA cover story about a new study linking memory and thinking issues to sleep apnea, which impacts about 30 million Americans, goes undiagnosed about 80% of the time. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jen Ashton, here with the details. Let's start with some definitions. What is sleep apnea? What are the uh, symptoms? Well, two common things here, um, really, that we're talking about. Sleep apnea, which can really range and run the gamut. Basically, it's a sleep disturbance, different types of sleep apnea, but most of the people who have it or their partners report that their breathing stops and starts where they're sleeping. Very loud snoring. You can literally hear someone gasping or stop breathing and then gasp when they resume breathing. And then things that you might notice if you're the one having a daytime drowsiness or sleepiness, attention problems, cognitive issues. That's the other thing that's really common that's brought about um, in this headline, which is cognitive issues, memory issues, and researchers trying to see if there's a connection. What connections does the study reveal? Well, so this was an abstract published at the biggest neurology conference uh, that's going on right now, and researchers at Boston Medical Center found that when they surveyed people who report these kind of sleep issues, that they had an 88% more likely chance of also reporting problems with their memory, cognitive issues. Again, we should mention this is based on association and observation, not yet cause and effect. But when you talk about sleep apnea, when you stop breathing and your oxygen saturation goes down, your CO2 goes up, you can almost think of that as having tiny mini strokes, mini mm. heart attacks, multiple times a night ongoing. It's a major health issue. So it's very serious, but every time I see that CPAP machine, I think, how can people sleep with that? Well, right. So first of all, if you think that you or someone you're living with has sleep apnea, you should talk, try to get tested. That can either be a home test or a formal sleep study. These older full face masks right now are very difficult for people to be compliant with. There are now smaller issue, um, devices that go right above the upper lip that look like that. They're soft, they're flexible, they are much less cumbersome, much more likely to be compliant with. George, I can tell you right now that for people who have sleep apnea and are treated with it, they will notice a major improvement. It's just a matter of time. Everything improves from their weight, usually, to the way that they're able to function during the day. They'll notice it. The people around them notice it. It's very, very important that you can do this to improve your health and be preventative. Good advice there. Thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.